Hi, my name is Chris Jacobson. We're here at Restaurant 540 to see how the manager reacts to a customer complaining about poor service by one of his waitresses. Let's see how it goes. Hi. You want a table? Oh, uh, yeah. For how many? Uh, it says one. Uh, okay, here? Yeah. Uh, thank you. <sighs> so, what is your speech here for today? I don't remember. I don't remember. Do you need more time? Or yeah, 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 yeah. Thank okay. you, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah I don't know. But, uh, So as you've seen so far, the waitress hasn't been very courteous, didn't remember the specials. Let's stay tuned and let's see if she gets any better. Oh, oh, oh excuse me. Um, actually, uh, I've been here uh, more than 20 minutes. Yeah. And uh, I think the, the guys over there uh, came later than me, but they already get, got burgers. And I have nothing actually, even no water. I don't know, I don't know how to tell you. Uh, Maybe her plate is different, I don't know. Uh, can you can you call your manager to talk with me? Um, sure. Yeah. Wait a minute. Carlos, table yeah, number sure. five is complaining because he doesn't have her food. I don't know, he wants Table to talk five. with what you. What happened, what are they ordering? Can I see what they're ordering? Yeah. What is it, how many? How many members? It's one. one. Yeah. So he's upset? Yeah. So... I don't know what happened with the food. There he wants to talk with you. Okay, I'll go I'll go take him around and go find out exactly what is going on in the back room and just get an idea uh, to kind of be able to kind of resolve this. I'll go talk to him. Just let me take care of it, okay? Okay. Let me go. <laughs> Hi, sir. Good evening. How are you? Uh, good, sure. Good. I was good until I came here. Um, so, are you a manager? Yes, I'm the manager. I'm Carlos Pena. Okay. It's a pleasure. Please yeah. watch And so, um, first of all, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for this inconvenience. Uh, uh, my apologies. Um, uh, apparently, it seems that you ordered um, steak and uh, you indicated that somebody else received their order first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, actually, that's part of, part of this, this bad feeling. I mean, I have been here 20 minutes and. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, really I'm sorry. Even, even no water and nothing, nothing has been served for the last ten minutes. And uh, no extra apologies. Yeah, I think wasn't. I think you, you, you guys should train your employees a little bit more because even she doesn't, she didn't know what special is, and she threw the menu and and you know, and nothing happened. And when I complained, she she didn't serve that one. So. I uh, know. Yeah, I I have okay. to go. Really, I mean, I have meetings. So, I'm sorry. So. Well, sorry. Let me let me let me see what I can do. I will talk to my waiter. I spoke to her briefly. I will find out. Get to the bottom of this. But in my sincerest apologies. Let me. Um, I understand. Again, you order steak, and um, you were complaining about the burger. Usually, steaks take a little longer than, bur than burgers. But I'll find out. And um, given the situation, hey, the the meal's on the house. You know, we'll take care of the meal. Um, so whatever you want on the menu, we'll just take care of that. And I will speak to my waitress. Um, you know, she's unfortunately. You must Bad issues. Usually, a, a good employee. She's a fantastic employee. She's always cheery and happy. And again, my sincerest apologies. Um, is there anything else I can do for you? Please feel free and just kind of let me know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean. Hey, you know what yeah. I'll do? I'll do not only the free meal. How about you know, get me kids? Yeah, I have kids. What about yeah. if I get you four pies on the house and so forth for your kids? And we'll throw a cherry on top, and you'll be very happy, right? 
Yeah, I mean, Com apologies. Computer making it happy, but but uh, yeah, I mean, uh, that's after that's hours. Okay. I think we can manage on doing that. I don't want to kind of want to see you continuously to come over to our, you know, probably our little store here and so forth. Okay. Okay. I'm glad like, uh, you are good. Thank manager. you very much. And let me go ahead and just um, find out in your mail again. It's on the house, and um, your little goodies will be packaged up at the front. And I'll speak to the to, to the waitress and make sure you don't bother me. Apologies, I'll get back to it. All right. Thanks. Okay. So the service didn't get any better and it led to the customer complaining and wanting to talk to the manager. The manager came out, appeased the customer, but now it's time to do some coaching with the waitress. Let's see how that goes. He was very, um, very upset. And he's a usual customer, so I want to kind of find out exactly what's going on. You know, I noticed that when I was the manager of the booth, I did see you welcome him and greet him, but you were about 15 feet ahead of him. And usually we don't do that. I mean, I, I'm concerned. I'm too tired today. I couldn't sleep because I have taken care of my grandmother. And I'm going to take care of her on Monday nights. So I don't know. I'm too tired. I'm sorry. Okay, I, I can understand that, you know. But um, again, you know, there's an open door policy, you know, which run a um, respectable business here. We have a lot of clients. You know, I don't want to lose any clients. Um, otherwise, you know, it's kind of on my plate. And I think you understand that. And um, you're having given situations like that. I just want to be be frank that you could come and speak to me. Um, let me know. I mean, if you need a kind of a change in date in terms of schedule, just let me know. Um, that way, at least, you know, not, we don't all come to work perfect or very happy. And I understand that, but at least I can't afford to have your performance um, exemplified out on the floor when you deal with the customers, because then it becomes, we lose money on that. I'm giving away pretty much vouchers, and I mean, I even promised that guy, you know, beers after work or something like Okay, so I guess we could resolve this where, I mean, you know that there's no door and you can't let me know. And I'm sorry to hear about your grandma and so forth. Um, again, if you need a couple of days extra or something like that, just please tell me. All right, this is not gonna happen again anymore, right? No, no. Of okay, course. you know I'm counting on you guys. You're one of my best employees. I mean, you were employee of the month last month, and so you know, 540 rocks with you. It doesn't rock without you when you're not doing well. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. Well, that concludes our coaching session with a customer complaining about poor service. I hope you learned something from this experience.